Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and here we are at the next video in our WordPress tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a countdown timer for your WordPress site using the Divi theme. Now, there's a couple different things that you might have a countdown timer for. Uh, you know, maybe uh, you're an author and you're counting down to the launch of a book, or uh, you know, you you're setting up a business web page and it's the countdown to the launch of a certain product or to an event or whatever. In my case, now that I've actually got some content up on this site, I really don't want people wandering around on the website uh, because it is a live website. It's not something I'm doing on my desktop. You know, it it is a live website. Anyway, I don't want people wandering around on the, on the site until I get it completely done and and you know ready to ready to roll so I am going to make down a countdown to launch timer and that's what will be displayed for my home page until the website is ready to go live so I figured this would be a good way for you to see some of the things that you can actually do uh, with the uh, with Divi so we're gonna come over here to pages and we're gonna create a new page we're going to use the page builder now they've got some actually not just some but a lot of default layouts depending on what you want to do and you could come down and if you scroll farther down they've got a maintenance mode page so that uh, you know if your site's going to be down for doing some maintenance you can do that they've also got this coming soon page let me go and load that up just so you can see it. And you can see that it creates a divider, a countdown timer. Uh, it, it's it got a subscribe module, so if you want people to subscribe to a particular, you know, if you've got a, a, a newsletter that you send out or, you know, whatever, you can go and set up for adding the subscribe in there. And then they've also got a, a call to action and then another divider, which is just basically space, uh, a blank space there. Um, now, you could go and use this, and it would work for you. Um, you could also come in here and, I mean, if you really just want the countdown timer, which is basically all I want, you know, I could get rid of the, these others, those, those other modules and just go from there uh, that would work and get get the job done uh, I'm going to go and clear this layout and just start from scratch just so you can see you know starting from scratch how you set things up so here we are we've got we've got sections and then they have what they call columns and within within a section and so we're going to insert a column, and I just want full width column, so just this one right over here. But you can see there's a variety of layouts. You can split the page in half. You can split it into thirds, quarters, two thirds. One. I mean, you know, you kind of get the idea. There's there's a variety of different ways you could set it up. Okay, so now we know how how many columns we're going to have for this particular uh, for this particular section. Now let's insert our module and you can see lots of modules all kinds of different stuff that you can add in there and if we scroll down to countdown timer that's what we're going to add and so we got countdown timer title um, I'm just gonna say course you can put whatever you want in there but uh, I think that's you know simple and kind of gets the point across and then countdown to when are you going to you know what date and time are you going to count this down to uh, I'm going to give myself about a week and a half to get this website finished so I'm going to say uh, March 25th right there and by default it goes with uh, midnight 0000, zero, zero, zero. You can use the sliders to adjust the actual, the exact time that you'll you know your your countdown timer hit zero. 
let's click done and do you want to use a background color yes or no we're going to keep it with yes you could do no but let's just go we'll do yes you can pick a color and as you can see if you know your the hex code for a particular color you want to use you can type it in right there otherwise you can use the sliders and 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 uh, these other tools there I'm just going to leave it as is let's click save and let's go to preview and you can see what it looks like and that's it like I said it's it's nothing complicated um, but it does kind of get the point across now the downside is and and I kind of realized uh, just now after we clicked on here I really don't want the menus up here right now I just simply want a blank page with the countdown timer going so let's come back here and if you come over here to template see you've got default template we want a blank page let's save that as a draft and let's preview it now and that's what we got now a blank page with nothing more than the countdown timer on it now you could go and uh, let's say you wanted to change it you can oops that's not what I wanted that duplicates but let's go back into the module and you can go and tweak things around here let's say that we really don't want the background color let's just you can switch it go to no click save and let's preview what we got now and you see you know absolutely nothing on the page and you got a timer running now there's absolutely no reason why you uh, you know you have to have just that timer on the page and that's kind of the 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 real cool thing about this uh, this Divi theme is that you know it's completely modular you can go and add all kinds of stuff to your pages uh, really make something that's that's uh, that's neat looking now so maybe you wanted a divider between uh, you know the header and the countdown timer so let's go and insert a module let's find the divider here uh, where is it there it is divider color now you can keep it clear so it's just uh, you know essentially a space or maybe you want a black line and show the divider and how tall is the divider in pixels let's just say five pixels and we'll just keep the admin label divider save it and we actually want this above the countdown timer save our draft preview and uh, you know that's it and like I said you know there's not a whole lot here but I think it kind of gives you an idea of some of the stuff that you can do with uh, using this Divi theme and that being said that's what I'm going to use for my countdown timer until uh, this website launches so now that we've made that page up let's give the page a title we'll call it countdown to launch we're going to publish the page And now that we've done that, we want that to be our home page, at least for the time being, until uh, until we get the rest of the website ready. So let's go to the Appearance Customizer, 
and we looked at this in one of the previous videos but come down here to where it says static front page click on that and instead of selecting your latest post we want to select a static front page and we're going to choose countdown to launch save and publish now that that's saved let's take a look at we'll go to what our what shows up as our home page and that's it simple easy to do and now we've got a timer counting down until uh, the site launches and that is it for this video thanks a lot for watching hopefully uh, kinda gives you an idea of some of the stuff that we're going to be doing with this theme in the uh, in the next video I'm going to start uh, building our our real home page the one that's going to be our, our you know our permanent home page so I uh, hope to see you back on that video as always give us a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, comments questions all that kind of stuff down below please subscribe if you are not a subscriber and I will see you on the next video thanks a lot